So, Peter Racer here, Foundation Expo 88 YouTube channel. Uh, and this notionally is the first in the series because it sets out the historical narrative of how it came to be that man and matter um, perform this very unique linking role between the population of Kangaroo Point and the to be developed um, tourist hotspot of South Bank. So what happened was was that the relatively newly elected Goss Labor government um, joined up with the newly elected uh, ALP Lord Mayor uh, Jim Sawley and they decided very wisely I think that as they cogitated and planned and master planned um, the development of South Bank that they would actually do a first stage and that was to take this relatively run down area uh, as it was in the time it was basically just a large car park and had a boat launching ramp uh, down a bit further which um, if I'm lucky enough uh, we'll be able to walk down and have a look uh, at and they decided that this would be the perfect um, staging post to give people a feel of what South Bank was going to be about. Uh, and it was a great initiative. Now, let's just have a look uh, a little bit uh, at some of the artwork. Halfway to uh, the final destination. and a very strong statement it makes. So looking at the uh, artwork, it's hard to believe that the artwork that's spread out uh, from South Bank as it is now around the Kangaroo Point actually fitted on the South Bank site. But it was very tightly um, condensed uh, into a really powerful statement. Uh, at Expo 88 and you used to be able to see it when you drove over the Captain Cook Bridge it was lit up very well uh, and it was a focal point of those who wanted to walk around the Expo 88 site because as they walked down the river spine um, at night time they looked out and they saw all the lit uh, sculptures out floating on the water uh, and also there was fireworks and other things that were focused out there uh, and the um, ski show was out on the, the river. Uh, during the daytime, these vibrant colours, the blues, the reds, um, the yellows, uh, which were also incorporated into the logo uh, of the sail um, logo of Expo 88, um, they just towered over you as you walked along and you really got uh, a feeling of excitement. Um, it was really quite a, an amazing artistic touch of brilliance um, on behalf of uh, John Truscott uh, as he sort of made the site work and appear bigger than what it actually was. Um, quite incredible. Now this little inlet as I sort of originally alluded to um, earlier uh, was constructed by Roy Harvey as part of his activation of the river plan um, on top of the kangaroo point cliffs here he had made uh, a long um, walkway and parkway and down here uh, in this inlet uh, was a river activation feature for Brisbane uh, dug out of the rocks uh, there was a ramp here uh, and a car park um, that will film in a second behind me um, and boats used to come down here and launch um, outboard motorboats effectively uh, the 8 foot dinghies up to uh, probably 18 19 foot uh, outboards not much bigger the problem was was that the Brisbane River silted up so quickly and that this little eddyway here silted up quicker than anywhere else in the Brisbane River. So they'd 
no sooner made it than about six months after it, half the boats that were using it were unable to use it. After 12 months, almost no boats were able to use it uh, and only uh, kayaks and dinghies could get down here. But you had to be um, really launching your kayak or dinghy at full tide because the rampway was very gentle um, and very long and very, very slippery. And I know because I used to come down here and launch a, a kayak and go for a beautiful kayak up and down the river. So this feature uh, of the Brisbane City Council was pretty well wasted and so it suited the Brisbane City Council to work with the state government to convert it into the first stage of the redevelopment of South Bank. Um, so let's just have a look at the car park area. It's there some of the Man and Matter series at the top end uh, of what was originally the car park and it's fairly large and it used to be able to park about 50 cars with a trailer and about um, 100 odd cars generally which were basically for kayakers and walkers and other people who might want to come down here for a bit of a picnic. If my memory serves me correctly there was a very small little picnic ground attached to it but that may in actual fact be wrong. So that uh, covers the, uh, the history of what is in effect the first utilisation of the artwork uh, that was left over after Expo 88. And really without its utilisation we probably wouldn't have had uh, the World Expo 88 art trial. Another view of the sculptures along the river here. We'll say uh, farewell and thank you for listening.